Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Cool Ninja Guy here. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to do the 3D stroke around your gun that I did in my Meek 30K edit. I have a COD4 clip here that I had on my hard drive. Uh, so let's hop right into this. Oh, by the way, uh, I have changed up the style of my tutorials a little bit. I have an ambient track in the background with Project 46. Good song. You can download this for free in the description. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do basically I have this clip he just jumps up hits the no scope and he falls so I'm gonna have the uh, stroke rotating around this gun so what we're gonna do is somebody's upstairs knocking cups around but um what we're gonna do this is our original comp so I'm name this original clip or just clip or whatever whatever I don't care that I type there we go original clip dang it <laughs> I have to change this to a longer comp so since it's about five seconds I'm gonna make this 15 because I am adding Twixer to it doesn't matter that there's obviously nothing in it right now uh, what you're gonna do is just pre-compose this original comp and name this you know main comp so main and comp yeah fart noises uh -huh. um, this is like my f seventh time recording this tutorial I've tried it for the past weekend but every time I'm recording somebody walks downstairs make sure it's actually working yeah it's working all right just make just making sure guys um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the uh, spot where he hits it, so right there, where I want to start. So shift 1, that's where my marker is, I'm going to go ahead 10 frames and put shift 2 because that's where I want my twixter to start. So I'm going to go to 1 and then type in twixter. Uh, you need twixter for this tutorial, um, you can find twixter however you want it, you can always look it up and you can buy it from uh, I think yeah revision. Um, so there it is, I fixed my frame rate, so it looks smoother. Now you're going to keyframe your speed from 0, uh, from 100, go to 2, keyframe this to 1. So what this does is it goes all in on 1%, and now it's really smooth and slow. It's a little warpy, but that's okay, because uh, this isn't about the Twixter, it's about the, uh, the 3D stroke. I don't really care that the hand is coming up to pull the bolt, and it's very warpy. YOLO! I'm <laughs> just kidding, YOLO stupid. Um, so now we're gonna go to my two marker, hit Control Y or Command Y and a whack to make Mac to make a new solid and title this stroke. Make it your comp size. Color does not matter. I'm gonna make it pink for the lulls. Yeah. So then we're gonna type in 3D stroke in our presets. I spelled that wrong. Stroke. It's a third party plugin from Trap Code that I recommend any editor to have, and it also is required for this tutorial. Uh, you might be able to do this with the regular stroke that's built in After Effects, but I'm not too sure. It looks best with 3D Stroke. Um, so what we're going to do now is turn off Use All Paths right away, and we're going to have to make a mask around this gun. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start my... God dang it, I right-clicked. Start my mask here. It's going to rotate around that way, once around his hand, back around the scope, and then right around the barrel again. Uh, since I have this down to 1%, I usually would keyframe the position, but I don't need to because it's so slow, so slowed down. So make sure you're on your layer, otherwise it's, holy tits, I didn't do that right. Uh, make sure it's on your layer or it's not going to work. Start here, and I'm going to have it rotate around again that way. Actually, I'm going to have it rotate right here. I don't want it to go around his hand because I'm lazy. Uh, like that. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold on, I'm derping out for a sec. Um, yeah, I want it like that. Sun so right around here. I want it to start again. So it'll come behind this thing and come back around. And then it'll go right here one more time. Jeez, my computer's going crazy on me. There we go. I want to pull this way back in. That's what was playing around with it. So then take this last point. And just put it like this, and then one more point. So it comes back around the gun, but you don't see that. So, yeah. There we go. So there's my mask. Um, now, what we want to do is go into your path and click mask one, and boom, you got the weird looking thingy. Um, so now, what we're going to do is set your thickness to about 12. I know it's even thicker now, but it looks weird. And hit taper. Taper will fix that problem of how weird it looks. And now we're done with that part. Um, you can change the color. I'm going to change this since the map's kind of a, eh, that color I'll set it's like a light, very light blue right there. Uh, I will add some glow and star glow onto it. Star glow is another 3D, or uh, trap code plugin, excuse me, 
Um, so what I'm going to do is actually have two snap this to the marker. I want this to last like four seconds, so I'm going to go ahead to 706, which is where the four second mark is. I only know that because I looked at it before. You can make this last however long you want. So there we go. Shift 3, I'm just going to put that just for my third marker where I want it to end. And then I'm going to go ahead 10 frames. Shift 4, I'm going to have my Twixter speed back up. So Twixter 4, I'm just going to set this back up to 100. Boom, just for the lulls. Um, yeah, so it slows down. Obviously, it looks like nothing's happening right now, and then it goes away. So what we're going to do is at 2, we're going to start the, uh, the stroke. So go back to your stroke layer, and you're going to have to set your offset to negative 100. Either negative 100 or 100. I prefer negative 100, so it starts here. Uh, hit keyframe on that, hit U, and go to your 3 marker, and then hit 100. What this does, it doesn't look like anything happened, but it starts from that. It goes all the way through, following the path, and then it's gone. So... Now we have that, but obviously it's not going over the gun, or it's not going around the gun, it's going over the gun. So what we need to do now is um, use track mats to cover up parts on the gun. What you could do is pre-compose this uh, stroke layer, which I tried, but it looked kind of weird when I did it. Um, that point is annoying me. It's looking not very smooth. So let me just delete this actual point. There we go. Just have it or on the gun that last time. Yeah, so now what we're going to do is uh, use a track mat. So I'm just going to fit this, and we're going to make a new new solid, name this uh, stroke mat. If you're doing multiple strokes, just do stroke, you know, mat one, stroke two mat, or whatever. So mat. Uh, it doesn't matter that it's pink still. Actually, no, I think it does. I, I usually just make this black. So stroke mat, and I'm going to put this black. So you do use an alpha channel. So, okay, uh, go to your 2 marker, snap it, go to your 3 marker and snap it, just so it's, a, I did the wrong thing, just so it's the same length as your uh, other stroke, but now you're going to turn this off, and just go to about the middle, so since it's 4 seconds, I just go 2 seconds ahead, so 506, that's my middle, I'm just going to put a marker here, just so I can remember, add a marker, and now what we want to do is mask out where we want the it to go behind the gun, so here's my mat, I'm going to hit the mask tool, make sure you're on your layer, and mask out this part of the gun. I want it to, yeah, rotate around the gun, so boom, 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 there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this layer back on. You'll see it's black right now, but uh, then I'm going to want to mask this part of the scope. So, actually I'm going to turn off this stroke for a second, no, I just want to see how far the scope was. Then I'm going to make another mask right there, just covering up this part of the stroke. And then it'll rotate around the gun here, and right here is where I want it to go back around. So I'm going to make a new mask right there. Cover that up. Oh, on one sec. Alright, sorry guys, my brothers that are walking downstairs. But uh, what we're going to do still is mask this out. It looks weird right now. I know. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space behind that scope just to add a little bit of, a little bit more effect. Um, so mask this out once again. Just like, nope. I don't want it to go on. I'm getting precise. I'm getting more precise than I would for a tutorial. I don't know why. I don't know really. But uh, keep doing this, and we have to mask. I'm gonna mask up onto here because I'm gonna fix that point a little bit on the actual stroke, so where are my points for this one? That's the point, so I'm gonna move that up a little bit, and then I'm gonna fix this mask. There we go. Yeah, and that looks good for there. So now what we want to do is hit F on your keyboard, select all your masks, and set it to about 5 pixels. There we go. Actually, th three. Three will be fine. But once you feather this, fix your uh, mask again to make sure you can't see any of your stroke uh, where, you don't, where you don't want it to see. So what this does, it just softens up the edges a little bit and makes your uh, whole uh, rotating 
around the gun a lot smoother. So fix that a little bit. Fix that a little bit. Yeah, so there we go. So that one's good. Now what we're gonna be doing is the actual track matting. Um actually I'm just gonna go through and you'll see this mass looks fine. Actually right there it looks I should expand that a little bit. Boom. Boom. Here we go, so it looks fine all the way around the gun. Actually, right at the end, I wanted to to actually go here. So I'm just gonna make a small little mask right there. And feather this one by three pixels. So that when they come in, they end up. This one that comes at the end, it looks like it's disappearing. So you'll see right there, I should mask. Span that a little bit. I want actually going into the stroke. I'm gonna turn the thickness down a little bit actually. Um, basically, this is all experimentation. I just play around until it looks the best. And there we go. So now I have my stroke good, but obviously, you don't want these black bars here. You know, that looks stupid. So, set this back to fit. I'm gonna turn my thickness down to 10 like it was in the first place. Um, now what we're going to do is go track mat, alpha inverted mat of the stroke mat. So what this does is it uses it like a mask. So I'm going to turn the masks off actually and fit it. And now you'll see if I just kind of play this through, it rotates around the gun. Look at that. That looks nice and sick. So there's that. And so the whole comp is he goes up, hits a shot, boom, super slow-mo, around the gun, and then back to falling. So that's the basis of the 3D stroke. What I do to fix this up, I have my actually own uh, TKNG glow settings that I have in my uh, my uh, presets pack. Drag this onto your 3D stroke and brightens it up a good amount. See, it looks much better now when it's glowing. And what you can do to fix this, you can play around with these. But all I did was add a glow and a star glow. Added the superstar preset. Looks pretty sweet. Um, that's really it. Now, if you say you want to add an adjustment layer, some color correction, um, just fit this to match your color correction. If I just pull up a random preset, say Arrow CC. All right, yeah, I dragged down this uh, color correction, but it looks like poop. And uh, there was a little cut in the recording there because my mom freaking yelled on the stairs in the middle. No, oh, Dan! Oh. It's like what the hell. Um, jeez. Oh yeah. By the way, um, if you are doing this track mat, keep your track mat layer off because you have it on the black bars there. But you have to keep it off and then do the invert mat, and it will be perfect. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button below, which is down there, down there. Subscribe button up top. Uh, actually, no, I think it's below. Um, I don't care. Whatever it is, just please subscribe button helps me out a ton. Uh, I'm approaching 1K very soon, and when I hit 1K, you'll get my editing pack. My editing pack, which has about 2 gigs of files. So, uh, thank you guys again for watching. My name is Quinn Ninja Guy. I am out. Adios.